How's it going fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC and today we are doing more testing on the mink. We did some testing a couple of days ago with some whittling and camp tasks and today we're gonna do that again. I was using some really dry seasoned wood and we weren't able to like feather stick with this because it was just like so dried and crusty. So today we're gonna try on some you know, greener stuff and just see how it does. I'm going to attempt to baton with this. I don't really recommend it, but um, this is, you know, something that I helped design and I want to stand behind it. So we're going to push it to its limits and see how it does. I am going to do a paper cut test before and after to see if we get any rolling or anything like that. Um, but yeah, we're just sitting out here in the yard. The girls are out here, so you're going to hear them, but I'll lower you guys down and we'll get to get to testing here. Lower this. We're in the same spot as we were before. Um, my trusty log. So it's really windy here. We're gonna see if I can get a before and after paper cut test. Wood is not abrasive on steel, but I have had knives roll and chip during batoning. It, it's happened. I know some people don't believe it, but I've caught it on camera. So we have a perfect edge that we're starting with. This is the edge from Levi. I have not sharpened it at all since it came in. I've been using it all day, every day for two weeks. And this is the factory edge, no sharpening. So it's, as you can see, perfect the entire way through. We'll check it at the end and see if anything changes. So um, this is Crewware at 64 HRC, um, 12 thou BTE, so extremely thin, extremely, extremely thin. That's why I'm a little nervous about the batoning, but um, I guess we'll just see what happens, right? So um, we'll just hope for the best, I think. All right, let's make sure this is all in frame here. If this can come out of this test unscathed, I am going to be a little surprised because it is just so thin. And we're kind of beaten on this thing here. But like I said, I want to be able to stand behind a product that I helped, um, you know, design, right? It'd be kind of silly to promote a knife that I haven't really pushed to its limits. But Crewware is a very tough steel. It has great edge retention, wear resistance. Um, it's semi stainless, so you can definitely get it to patina, but you kind of have to try, to be honest. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do some splitting here and see how the edge is. And if it's good, then I guess we'll keep going. This really wants to like very thinly split. Oh, I think we have, we have two nuggies coming into frame. Do you girls want to say hi? Sure. Okay, so we've got Isla, who hi. you met before, yeah. and her twin Harriet. Hi. Um, no, they're not identical, even though they literally look <laughs> it, but they're both mini Nickies. So yeah. this is the one that, this is the one that you met before. <laughs> this is the one you have not met. Um, they actually do knifey stuff too sometimes. You girls have your own knives, don't you? Yep. yep. Yep, they've got little moras that they use out at the bonfire and all kinds of stuff. Um, teach them young. Okay, so I'm going to split this one too, and then I want to check the edge and just see if this has done anything. Like I said, it shouldn't. The only thing I am mildly worried about is the um, BTE, because, the, you know, this knife was not meant to baton things. It's more of an EDC knife and an outdoors knife to a point for sure. Um but it's, I mean, it's just so paper thin and full flat ground. It, it's not really supposed to be batoning, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna um, wipe the edge off and then we'll see if we got any rolls or nicks or anything. Okay. 
feels okay. Our paper from earlier, these are old potty charts from work. So completely the same, I would say. That's really nice. And you know, this is green, fresh wood that I just cut down. But again, um, we're just we're just testing here. I'm not saying any of this is supposed to be difficult. Let's see if we can actually get like legitimate feathers this time because last time we were using really old seasoned wood and we were not able to get like full-blown feathers because you couldn't feather stick that wood. This stuff is so wet that it's not even, it's not even like curling, it's just coming off in little layers. But this is definitely, oh, wait a minute. Now we've, hold on, now I've got some curls. Let me clear those off. Let me see if I can uh, get this to actually, there we go. If I'm very light with it, we can get some real curls. That's better. Sometimes when you haven't done this with a knife before, like a specific model, you have to kind of get a feel for it at first to see how it, how it wants to dig into the wood to do what you need it to do. Yeah, so you can get some really thin, you can get some really thin curls with this. Come on. And in the first video I showed that like, Taking off decent chunks works really well with this too. Um, so whether you want to do stock removal or feather sticking, it seems to do pretty, pretty well. Let's see if I can peel this bark off and maybe get some more feather sticks. There we go. Look at how clean that is. Oh, the nuggies are back. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh my gosh. They brought me freaking flowers. Okay, let's see what you guys got brought. Um, do you know what any of those are? Um, well, this one is like a buttercup. Yep. I believe that's what they're called. Are these, these are pansies or violets or something like that, I okay. think. And then what, you have some more of those little buttercup yeah. things and some little tiny white ones. Yeah. Those are very cute girls. What are we going to do with them? I don't know. We don't know. Are we going to put them in a vase? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay. We're not really sure. We haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. Those are adorable. Do you want to put them in a pile and I'll take care of them after? Yeah. Thank you, girls. I love it. They are so sweet. Always collecting little flowers and little rocks for people. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, this is really actually nice to use. Ooh, oh, that's a little tiny one. Yeah, so you can surely feather stick with this if you have fresh green wood. And it actually doesn't do too bad given that it's not a bushcraft knife, it's not a woods knife. Um, like I said, my intention behind the mink was to do a jack of all trades, master of none. And I want you to be able to kind of bring the mink wherever you go. And it should be able to do everything that you throw at it. And it may not do it perfectly. But I want you to be able to make do. Come on. It's definitely not the right grind for full-blown woodwork, though. Okay, um, I wonder if we can, kind of wondering if I should test this tip here. Yeah, fuck it, let's beat on it. So I'm gonna take this and see if we can hammer the knife through the middle of it and split the wood maybe. Uh, this is where we're starting to get stupid. I don't really recommend any of this stuff at home, but like I said, we're, we're, we're just pushing this thing to its limits and seeing what it can do. Worst case, I break the tip and I'll send it back to Levi and Hill. Uh, Regrind it for me. 
It'd be kind of funny to catch it on camera. Man, this stuff is uh, hard to get all the way through. I don't even know if I can. Oh, that's in there. Nothing. I don't I don't know if I can actually get through the whole thing. Let me see if I do it like down here more. Hold on. There we go. Now I've now I've split it. I think I'm actually down into the second log. Yep, so that went all the way through. See if we can split it a little more. Now that we have like a hairline split going, I'm, I'm wondering if I can work my way up through this thing. Yeah, now she's splitting. The fact that this is full flat ground, 12 thou BTE, this is kind of cool. I think I'm damaging the G10 more than the actual steel. <sighs> Nothing. Let's see if we can uh, baton through the rest maybe? It doesn't look like anything happened to it. We'll check on paper. But it's looking good. No, no tip damage from that splitting. I'm trying to not get the reflection. Come on. There we go. Can you guys see that? Zero tip damage, no warping, no breaking. <laughs> Looks good. All right, let's check on paper again. <laughs> That's insane. Levi's work is so crazy. Might be a little bit of dulling at the tip, but like not really much. Maybe the slightest bit. I don't even, like you can still catch it at the tip like that. <laughs> it just actually, it's actually so sharp. I've done this before on camera. It actually just split the paper the opposite way. It split into the layer and caught. Look at that. Because paper is like layered. It actually split the paper and caught the layer of paper. That's crazy. So, I mean, the thing is sharp. That's incredible. This is why I get frustrated when, when, when people are like, you can't use super steels out in the woods. They're gonna fail you, they're gonna chip. If you baton with them, they're gonna fail you. If you run them too hard above 60 HRC, they're gonna fail you, they're gonna chip, they're gonna break. I don't know, guys. I feel like this is doing pretty well. Let's do a, um... let me move you guys back a little bit. Let's do a cross section baton instead. Now this I'm thinking is going to do something. This is going to, this is going to do something to the edge. Let me see if I can get one more. Okay. 
see the last chop. Ooh, now it's down into the actual seasoned log. Okay, let's check again. Nothing. <laughs> That's insane. That is really insane to me. That is very thin, hard crew wear. I don't know guys, this might be a knife that you could definitely bring on your camp trip and use out in the woods. I don't, I don't really see what, what else um, you would need to do with something like this. You know, obviously bring the correct tools, ax, hatchet, whatever you want, um, saw, but like, it's kind of cool that it can do all of the things. And it's really comfortable. That handle is super comfy. There's nothing to it. It's just like a modified broomstick handle that's more aesthetically pleasing with that taper at the end. Very cool. I'm I'm really impressed with this, guys. I'm really impressed with this. I I just think that's very cool to have a knife that hard and thin in a super steel, be able to push it that hard, and um, it's completely unscathed. Like nothing, nothing changed with this. So I hope that you guys um, find that helpful. I hope that this reassures you that these knives are made, you know, to the best specifications. We are running the best heat treat on these. It's all done in house by Levi at Northern Knife Works. The mink is dropping Friday, the 17th on his Instagram page. The only difference will be that the handles on the production ones are rich light in a color called Sloan, I believe. It's um, a very earthy, black and brown mix. I've posted photos of the production ones. They're all ready. They're dropping Friday. So if you're interested in getting something like this that you can really beat on, do basically anything with clearly, um, the drop is on Friday. Check out Levi Northern Knife Works. I will link him down below, but this is our second design together. Um, the first one was the dart. This is the second one, and we have plenty more in the works. So yeah, get get on it guys really cool knife really proud to stand behind this i think that's all i have for you guys today i will see you on the next video go use your shit learn how to sharpen your knives i will see you so soon i love you so much fam take care